Well, Shannon, uh, great to have you back at the footy club today. It's uh, such an important day for the club. Uh, what's it like for you to come back? Uh, yeah, it was a really good day. It's, um, there wasn't too many around that were, were here when I played, um, so it would have been good to catch up with some more of the old people, but um, yeah, there was, there was still a few floating around from the past. So, Interesting time for you when you came to Melbourne. It was uh, sort of in tragic circumstances, I guess, with Troy Broadbridge, of course. Uh, um, you, you coming on to replace him. How do you sort of look back in that time? It was a pretty tough time, but you really made, made an impact with the Ds, played in the final as well, and uh, had, had a couple of good games. Yeah, um, probably not as long a stay as, as I'd liked, but um, looking back, um, yeah, it was really tough. Um, it was a really tough time um, with uh, Troy passing away and you know, myself having to come onto the list. Um, you know, there was a lot of media around that and uh, something I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't really enjoy back then and, um, and, and probably more so now. Um, yeah, so it was a really tough time coming back into the AFL uh, after being out of it for a year and... Um, Having to you know meet meet the cameras and all that sort of stuff at the airport, so it was um, yeah it sort of hit me at the airport that day. Yeah. Yeah. You look back on a fine career. You played in a premiership with the Kangaroos, of course. I mean, how look how do you look back on your AFL career? Yeah, I'm, f I'm fairly happy with it. Um, you know, ten years down the track, you sort of you know I have no regrets. I probably didn't do as much as I should have, um, but um, you know I was happy to go home. I was always happy to go home, and that probably held me back a bit. Yeah. Great footy uh, family, of course. You must uh, look on with a sense of pride seeing uh, other relatives perform so well in AFL and, and make an impact in the NT. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've got quite a big family, but uh, my bro two brothers, you know, Stephen's at Geelong and Daniel's had a good career in the AFL with North Melbourne and, and Port Adelaide. And, you know, I've got uh, a cousin, Marlon, who, you know, played a, few, a handful of games at, um, at Port Adelaide and, um, and hopefully a few more in the future to come through. And tell us about uh, your company as well. You've provided some fantastic meats uh, for people today. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we uh, we put on the catering today, and there was an assortment of uh, wild meats. Uh, we own a shop, myself and my, and my two brothers and my dad, um, and um, with a guy by the name of Richard Gunner, uh, who's who's uh, part owner in that, uh, based over in Adelaide. Um, so, like I said, we're a wild game and native green store. Um, functioning, functioning out of the, the Adelaide Central Market and we've been in the business for about a year and a half and, and doing really well. Recently we've gone into alcohol just through a few findings. Uh, we, we come across the uh, native green ant which is based up in Darwin and um, we, we found that we can use that in, in alcohol to, to make a really good gin. Uh, that's currently out at the moment, that's the Australian Green Ant Gin and more recently we've gone into the wattle seed beer as well. So all native products what would you recommend? What are your favourites? Um, the gin. <laughs> um, oh, look, it's all you know. Um, it's it's all stuff that we ate now and then. Being Aboriginal, we, we these are all the foods that we, you know our ancestors would have lived on. But um, it's all foods that um, you know we still eat today, but not as often. It's uh, you know it's something that's more on my plate these days now than it was and. And uh, you know the market's going that way, where people are willing to try these foods. So um, kangaroos, you know, very popular now, and um, that's the type of foods we sell. In you know, from emu to kangaroo to um, wallaby, uh, venison, and uh, all these native native foods um, are the type of meats that we sell, as well as native greens. Well, fantastic to see you today and catch up, and uh, all the best with the business. No worries, thank you. <laughs>